faith, the final frontier. These are the ramblings of a quarantine pastor. His mission, to connect people to God, to each other, and equip them to reach their world. And to boldly go where no atheist has gone before. Quarantine Pastor's Log Day I don't know I don't know about you But times like this Make me ponder What does Star Trek have to tell us About this world And about the world after That brings our question today Where Spock says this I have been and always shall be your friend he's telling Kirk he has always been and will always be his friend that's how Jesus is with us sometimes we think he's like Spock he's far away he's unemotional he's detached but that's not true you know what he says? He says in John chapter 15, I no longer call you servants, but I have called you friends. Also, you are my friends if you do what I have commanded. And also greater is love than this. The man lay down his life for his friends. That was what Jesus did for us. He laid down his life for us. The same way Spock laid down his life for Kirk and the rest of the crew. He said, The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few or the one. In the book of James, Abraham believed God, was credited to him as righteousness, and he was called a friend of God. We can be friends of God. He's offered up that friendship. He's done everything for that friendship. Our job is to turn and to, to follow him. That's why he says about following his commands. We're following him. It's just like Kirk and Spock. They're on the same ship. They're heading the same direction. And the same as in their relationship. I'm sure Kirk, at the very beginning, didn't trust Spock. But eventually, he may not have been able to trust anyone else. But he always knew he could depend on Spock. And that's the same way it is with Jesus. The whole world may be falling apart. But we can trust him. And that trust is hooked with belief. And if we believe, we can be called his friend. This pastor's out. <laughs>